But what if they're wrong? Now stop and consider for just a moment some of the lessons that history has taught us were the status quo and the commonly held beliefs of the time were flat out wrong. I mean, seriously, remember Seneca, the philosopher? He said he treated his slaves kindly. Well, history is not going to look back on him as a perhaps pious man because slavery in itself is abhorrent. It's evil. But he said he treated them kindly. Let's look at another historical example. George Washington, when he fell ill, what did his personal doctor do? He bled him. They did a little bit of blood and they let it out. And they continued to do this bloodletting process to the point where they bled him to death. But again, it was a commonly established belief and practice. The status quo may be completely wrong in the United States when it comes to the use of home equity, equity sharing, or equity release type products. And the reverse mortgage sits right in the middle of that minefield. If you look at other countries such as the UK, India, China, Hong Kong, these countries have a long established history of understanding that the use of one's home or the value in their home is key to helping them retire comfortably and not have to be a burden not only to their children, but also when it comes to public assistance. So do they have it wrong? Is the status quo today actually correct? Or perhaps are we ahead of the curve? And as such, we become an easy target. Those are the thoughts for you to ponder this week and our Friday's Food for Thought. Leave your comments below, and we love people who share. So would you do me a favor and share this video with another reverse mortgage professional? Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.